right, so we're going to play some chess. We're going to clean a couple of these losers' clocks. All right, so hit the play. Let's go. We're going to clean some of these losers' clocks. Let's go. Find me, a, find me somebody to destroy. Please, hurry up. I would like some music. But the problem is if you play music, then uh, YouTube's going to freaking do that uh, copyright infringement shit. All right, let's go. One. So basically, my strategy, because a lot of these guys are pretty good, so what I usually do is I go after their knights first. And then I try to attack them in the corner. So you see how I'm setting up my bishops? My bishops are like snipers. And by setting them up like this, you see how he has his setup. He's trying to get my rook down here, right? So when I open this up, this is what he does. He thinks that I'm going to take this piece and forget that his bishop is set up. See, now, yep, he just fucked up, you idiot! So basically, he tried to attack my queen, right? So he tries to attack my queen with the bishop, but what he didn't realize was that I had this person set up the, the bishop to attack his bishop and take his rook. So I was going to take two of his pieces, and he couldn't do anything except go after this piece right here. So he just basically gave up, you moron. So anyway, next, new player. So I tell you, a lot of the games that I play, they just end up giving up because they, once I once I get up in their ass, they just give up. It's like, it's not even, I freaking love speed chess. And the reason why, by the way, I only play speed chess and I play three minute games, number one is because it makes you think as fast as possible. Number two is because one time I was playing on Xbox and I had this bastard who was playing with me and there was no clock. So this motherfucker abandoned the game and made me basically have to turn my Xbox off because he refused to continue playing. So this is what this guy's doing. He's putting his knights out there. Boom. I want that one first. And it's funny because when you take their knights this early, they don't understand what why you're doing it. The reason why is because as you start to advance your pawns, they run out of possible moves to get around the other pawns with that. See, look at this. The, the problem is they start running out of moves. And if they start running out of moves, all you got to do is, all you basically have to do is then you control what's going on in the in the center of the board, and they have no way of stopping you because they, they start running out of pieces. So right now, he has no idea what to do. He has his queen there, now he has to withdraw his queen because there's nothing to attack here. Can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. So he has to withdraw. See, this is what they hate. They don't understand that by doing that, by playing the way I play, it makes it so that they run out of possible moves. Now, what he did was he put this here in order to try to go after my uh, rook. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. So what he's doing is he's he's withdrawing completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going after his other knight because it's easy to defend my king. And if I put my rooks on this side, I can easily attack his king, sacrificing pieces where necessary, and there'd be nothing he can do. You see what he's trying to do? I'm going after his knight. Now he has to move his knight. He doesn't have a choice. So now I'm going to bring this over, bring this rook over, and I'm going to I'm going to shuffle all of my pieces onto this side because when I start to when I start to attack this entire side, his King, look at this, watch this, boom, that's one. So he has to kill it with, okay, he killed it with the knight. The knight cannot move farther. So I'm going to put this piece here, then I'm going to put the next rook here, and I'm going to go right, watch this, watch this, watch this. He, he's not even going to know what to do because he's run out of pieces on that side. So I'm going to hit this, even if I have to sack, okay. So watch this, watch this. This is where it gets fun. Now I have these extra pieces to bring up. And he's going to be afraid. He's going to try to move his his king away from that side. He's going to have no choice. So what I have to do is I have to attack his other... I have to attack his bishop. And I have... Okay, watch this. So he's going to try to put something there. But if he does, I'm going to kill it with my knight. I'm going to put this up. And then I'm going to move my queen right into this area. And he's, he's, just, he's going to end up running out of pieces to attack me with. Ooh, I didn't see that one coming. That's a nice one. I didn't see that coming. Thing about it is, that piece ain't going no further. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right about here. Let's see what he does. Because that bishop is useless. That bitch, There's nothing that bishop can really do there. And his knight has to move one. He's got one, two. That's it. Oh, he didn't move. Oh, that's too bad. You didn't move your knight. Oh, 
I don't need my night as much as you need yours, buddy. Guess what, buddy? Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Watch this. Watch this. And then I'm going to put my rook right back here. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, okay. I can't move that piece right there. But guess what I can do? I can move this piece up. Now, you're going to move this here possibly to check me, or you're going to take that piece, but it's not going to matter because you can't advance any further, okay? You can't advance any further than that, so what I'm going to do is put this here, and I'm going to continue going after. I'm going to I'm gonna hit that whole fucking side. Oh, you want to put that there? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for you. You can't come in. I'm not letting you take my freaking fuck. Wait, 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 wait. What, what can I do? What can I do? I don't want this bastard taking my... Oh, no, right there. One, right there. And now he can't take either one of these pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Because if you put the rook down here, you lose it. There's nowhere to go. I'll take your rook and your bishop. Oh, okay, so that's what he wants. Oh, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. I'll kill him. And guess what? Now that you couldn't even take him. Why would you put that there, stupid? Why would you do that? That was stupid. Watch this. It's time to get that, uh... It's time to get this knight into gear. Guess what, knight? Get... Oh, shit! Damn. He got me. Okay, we're gonna clean this guy's clock right here. I'm gonna set up my snipers in the corner. Set up the snipers. We're going right after this guy. We're going right after his knights. Now, when people put that piece there, that kind of makes it so I can't put my bishop there to attack the knight. So I'm still going to go after your knight. Can't move it because I kill your queen. So he won't do that. So now this guy dies. Now you have to move this guy up to protect these two squares from that knight. Plus, when he moves that piece down, I have to move this piece up to make sure that that bishop's no longer a threat to that rook. Then I'm going to put this knight right here to protect that area. And then I'm going to castle to this side, put my rook right here. So, it's, yeah, see, he's castling already. Put this piece up. He's going to try to move this piece down because he wants to go after that rook. I'm not going to let him. Not unless it gives me a tactical advantage. Okay, so he's moving this piece down. It's not going to matter. I'm going to move. Let's see. I want to move this guy out of the way. So my rook is free to move because I don't like the attack. I'm waiting for this guy to move so I can move this guy up. Okay, so let's move this guy up. We're going to give the rook a little bit more space. I'm going to move this guy up, give the rook a little bit more space. Uh-huh, exactly. That's what I was waiting for. Boom, right there. See, the reason why I attack your knights is because if you, you, if you kill the other guy's knights and then you use your pawns to move up, what ends up happening is they start protecting each other, and because they're protecting each other, what ends up happening is they run out of possible moves, but your knights can move to so many different squares. I will say it like this. The knight probably might be the strongest piece in the game. Most people say it's the queen, but one thing I've been learning is that especially most of these, you know, these really good players, they can't play without their knights. Because when you kill their knights, it takes away their ability to move around easily. Like, he's going to put that bishop there. I'm going to put this pawn up on him, and he can't attack it because I've got the knight there. He's going to lose a piece. See? Very, very predictable. Watch this one. I'm going to kill something. Yeah, back up. Back the hell up, sucker. So now we're going to go with... We're going to, we're, I don't like the fact that his bishop is still targeting this area. So what we're going to do is we are going to start moving up on this side. Uh, he's going to have to attack because he, he's going to be afraid. There you go. So I'm going to move this here so I can keep pushing up on him. And I'm going to keep pushing up on him. He wants to attack. Okay, he wants to attack that part right there. We can't allow that, so I need... Oh, I see what he's doing. I'm going to kill his fucking rook right there. I'm going to kill his rook. He, he was trying to get that knight there so he could attack my queen and the rook. Not letting it happen. I'm going to kill your fucking rook. Give me the rook! Jesus Christ, this guy. Give me the goddamn rook, man. 
That's right. Okay, now I'm going to put this piece here. You're going to be, end up in the corner. So you're going to have to move that. You got no choice. Then I'm going to move. Wait, should I move that up? No, 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 no. I'm going to move this. He wants to move that there. So I, I can't do that. I need to put this here. So I may need to kill this guy right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he's going to probably go after this piece right here. Yep, that's what I thought. So now the combined power of the queen. Oh, shit, he's setting himself up. He's literally setting himself up. I'm going to put that rook right there. And he ain't going to come down here. When I hit this piece right here, all I got to do is kill that bishop. Game over. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. One. Okay, wait. One. What are you going to do? He's going to move the queen down here to try to check me. No, he's not. That's a problem. That's a problem. I didn't anticipate that. No, I'll move that up. If he kills my knight, I got him. Yup, stupid. Oh, give me that goddamn queen, you moron. Game over, fool. Game over. Game over. Game over. I'm going to type it. Game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do that because I'll run out of time. Uh-oh. Yeah, game over. Good job, idiot. <laughs> game over. <laughs> I hate these guys from Brazil. I really do. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, so I'm setting up my snipers. See, the sad thing is, these guys never see my attack coming because they never expect you to start sacrificing bishops for knights. But when you kill these guys' knights off, and these aren't very experienced chess players, they have no idea what to do. They have no idea what to do because they end up running out of move. Like, this, oh, this guy's done. Look at this shit. This guy's in trouble right here. Oh, that was nice. Give me that shit. You, you gonna take it with your queen? No, you're not. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, I'll put this here. You ain't doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Stupid. Boom! Give me that shit. What are you gonna do? Give me that. Okay, so now he is there, so he can't attack this, he can't attack that. Okay, so now I'm gonna start moving. He's got a bishop on that side, and because he has that bishop, I think he's feeling strong. That's not going to help. I'm going to kill that guy. Move her. Now. Move her. Get her out of here. What are you doing? He's probably going to check me. Yep, with the bishop, he's checking me. I'm going to move this here. Protect it with my knight. The queen. Can oh, shit. What are you going to do? You're going to take my uh, little knight there? Because you know you're screwed. You're done. You're done, sucker. But see, the problem is, most of these dudes, they're afraid to start trading pieces. They're terrified of it. Because they don't understand the reason why I'm doing it. And the reason why I'm doing it is to make sure that they run out of moves first. So he'll move that here, or he'll take this piece. Yep, that's what I thought he'd do. And I'm going to move that up. I'm going to give my king a nice pocket to hide in. And there'll be nothing you could do, because all i got to do is move. Oh, see, you castled to that side. There's no now you're in trouble, because the problem is, to come in here and get my king, you're going to have to work twice as hard. Oh, please. One. Give me that. See, that's the thing. I can work with my knights better than he can. I'm going to beat this turkey. Nothing but a turkey salad sandwich. I'm going to beat this guy. And there's, there's no way in here. There's no way in here. The only thing you could do is try to get your queen in here, which I think that's actually a problem. So I got I to gotta look into that. So if I put this here, I'm going to take both of these fucking pieces. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep moving. This is what it is. The knights and the pawns are very, very powerful together. Because it allows you to keep pushing up on the guy, and he starts running out of possible moves. Now, when he doubles up, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to move in. I'm going to move in. Because now I've got one pawn protected by two others, plus a knight back here. 
Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep moving right in on your booty. And there's nothing you're going to do. Oh, shit. See, yep, that's what I was worried. Oh, but guess what? Boom, give me that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Give me that. And he, he didn't even understand what's happening. What he doesn't understand is that he's run out of possible moves. And I should take his knight right now. But what I kind of, you know what? I'm taking his knight. I would have. I really wanted that night. I really wanted it. So I took it. I took it. I took it. Move that there. See, the thing about it is, especially when you're playing speed chess, you don't necessarily have to make better moves. You just have to let the guy... Look at this guy. He only got 20 seconds left. You already lost, kid. Game's over. You don't even have enough time to hurt me. Game is over, kid. It's over. Look at this. He's trying to move these guys, and he doesn't have enough time. Look at this. So he's trying to attack here. All you're going to do is get both of your guys killed. What are you doing? Look at this. Look at this. And I could kill him right now with this uh, with this knight. It's not even worth it. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. He wants to put the bishop here, and he wants to try to checkmate me. But he ain't going to be able to do it. Oh, oh my God. This dummy. Game over, guy. Oh, see, look at that. Boom. That's it. Game over, kid! What you doing? What is you doing? Look at this. Up, oh, game over. Checkmate. Stupid. <laughs> ah. Oh, man, this boring.